Hey guys, I just arrived at the Burt's Bees headquarters where I'm going to learn how they make these awesome products. So follow along all day and I will take you on my own tour. So guys, this was actually Burt's first hive. And the whole reason it's called Burt's Bees is because he literally didn't want people to steal his bees. Also, this is Burt's conductor cap, which he wore often with a little bee on it. And that is his golden retriever. He had two. So this is Bert's converted turkey coop, which is actually relatively small. I'll show you how big I am compared to it, but it's beautiful. So this is the original cedar shanks, and this is why he lived in a turkey coop, because he wanted to live according to his needs, not his wants. It's awesome, guys. <laughs> So outside of his turkey coop, because it was brought from Maine, there's a viewfinder where you can actually look in and see Bert's land recreated. It's awesome. So this is a train that was part of an old Lucky Strike factory, but this converted tobacco factory is now the Bert's Bees headquarters. The man himself near his old turkey coop brought down from Maine. So guys, this is the Bert Shavitz Observational Hive where you can learn all about bees. Right now it's too cold for the bees, but you can usually see them all. And above the Observational Hive is a photo of Bert because that's actually how the bees know where to come back to to find their way home. So this is a mural by a famous New York artist called Matthew Willey, and it's called The Swarm. It is really incredible. It's all along the side of the building. I'm officially wearing a lab coat and I have lab glasses on because I'm going to make my own lip balm. This is insane. These are the ingredients. We're going to be making vanilla bean lip balm. I have to put on gloves first so I don't mess anything up, which makes sense. This is insane. All my things. And it says, welcome, Troyan. A bee is telling me welcome. I'm going to eat. Dreams coming true. I just get to play in a chemistry lab all day. Sorry, I know we have many more steps after this. I'm just really excited by this spin. So as you can see, I didn't get all of the beeswax pellets in. But I tried my best, and it smells amazing. I wish you could smell it. That's beeswax melting. Coconut oil and beeswax. It's making that stir by work. So cool. All of the beeswax has melted. We've added shea butter and cocoa butter. It's looking real nice. Okay guys, I'm going to try to measure out 0.3 of vitamin E. Oh. oh my god. Last step is adding the vanilla flavor. And it smells like Christmas butter cookies. I wish you could smell this. And that's how you make lip balm. Oh, that was so fast. Oh, you're right, this could make like a hundred. Thank you, Bird's Bees, for taking me around today. I had an amazing time, and thank you for showing me what a really great company is all about. What? Yay!